हेलो फ्रेंड्स आज के वीडियो में हम पढ़ेंगे इंडस्ट्रियल बायोटेक्नोलॉजी तो इसमें हम पढ़ेंगे एन इंट्रोडक्शन टू इंडस्ट्रियल बायोटेक्नोलॉजी एंड या इंडस्ट्रीज में क्या बेसिकली यूज किया जाता है फॉर द फर्मेंटेशन प्रोसेस दैट इज द फर्मेंटर और अ बायो रिएक्टर तो ये वीडियो में आज हम देखेंगे बेसिक डिजाइन ऑफ फर्मेंटर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ एन इंट्रोडक्शन वॉट इज फर्मेंटेशन सो फर्मेंटेशन कैन बी डिफाइंड एज अ मेटाबॉलिक प्रोसेस सो मेटाबॉलिक प्रोसेस मीन्स इट्स अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ एनाबॉलिज्म एंड केटाबॉलिज्म सो द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ बोथ दे आर द मेटाबॉलिक प्रोसेस इन विच ओके द बेस क्या होता है चीप रॉ मेटेरियल यूज करते सो द चीप रॉ मेटेरियल मोस्ट ऑफ यूज आर शुगर्स और कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स and those raw materials are converted into some products so that products it should be economically important so those products are like acids alcohols and gases by microorganism so this fermentation starts and ends on with the microorganism only so this was the definition of fermentation then what is fermenter or a bioreactor fermenter means what it is basically a vessel or a container where this fermentation process takes place to ye ek vessel hota hai usme kuch sterile nutrient media aur some pure culture of microorganism ko insert karte hain and this both nutrient media and microorganism they are mixed and the fermentation process is carried out under the aseptic and optimum conditions now we'll see the major parts of the fermenter so yahan pe hum dekhenge total 10 parts of fermenter like first material used for fermenter second impellers third baffles then inoculation port sparger then sampling point ph control device temperature control device foam control device and the bottom drainage system so we will study all these 10 different major parts of the fermenter in detail along with the diagram so let's start with the first part the first part of the fermenter that is the material used for the fermenter so how you could see here the diagram okay to the left side that the fermenter it's it's a shape of the fermenter which is cylindrical right so iska jo main important function jo hona chahiye jo material that is used in the fermenter that it should not be corrosive okay material should not be corrosive it should not add any toxic substances it should tolerate steam sterilization process and it should tolerate high pressure okay this these are the main important functions for the materials to be used for the and the fermenter material used they are decided on the type of the fermentation process like for example wooden material or the fermenter they are used okay for the fermentation of the beer wine etc means all those beverages like or iron copper glass be use kiya jata hai for the fermentation of other different acidic compounds yes in the industries also stainless steel ss like 304 and 316 are particularly used okay for the fermentation process so ye tha material uh, part of the fermenter now we'll see the second part that is the impeller so you could see in the diagram the impeller which is rotating ओके इन इट्स एक्सिस तो यहाँ पे इसको क्या बोलते हैं ये इम्पेलर मतलब क्या एजिटेशन डिवाइस है एजिटेशन मीन्स वॉट द मिक्सिंग डिवाइस ओके द डिवाइस यूज टू मिक्स द कंटेंट्स दैट इज द मीडिया द कल्चर मीडिया एंड द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म इन साइड द कंटेनर नाउ दिस इम्पेलर इट इज माउंटेड ऑन अ शैफ्ट इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन द फर्मेंटर थ्रू इट्स लेट सो देर इज सम होल्डिंग ओवर देयर दैट इज नोन एज टर शैफ्ट सील to hold 
at the top of the fermenter. Okay, what does this stirrer shaft seal holds the firm the impellers? Now, they are also made up of impeller blades. This agitation device. So these are the impeller. You could see in the diagram. And what are the important functions then? The important function is that it, to mix microorganisms, media, and oxygen uniformly. And also, this mixing it reduces the air size of the air bubbles and it distributes distributes those air bubbles uniformly. Now, let's see the third major part. Third part is the baffles. Okay, baffles kaha pe hota hai? It's mounted on the wall of the fermenter, and the important function is to break the vortex during the agitation process. Means it avoids the sticking of the contents inside the ferment. Now, if the vortex is not broken, then what happens? Then the fermentation media may spill out of the fermenter. मतलब जो भी content है media जो अंदर के वो spill होने के chances हैं, and this might result into what the contamination. Now, let's see the next part of the fermenter that is inoculation port. So, in inoculation port, fermentation media, inoculum, or substrate, ये port से add करेंगे. In where it is added into the fermentation tank, and you could also see the working level over there. So that's the level where up to this contents should be added. Now it should also be easy to sterilize, means that easy to sterilize, etc. Now let's see the fifth uh, part that is the sparger. Okay, the sparger kya hai? Yaha pe fermenter mein it's an aeration system. Aeration means that air is provided, so the air should be sterile. So sterile air is introduced into the fermenter. Also, it is located at the bottom of the fermenter. You could see here in the diagram. And the glass wool filters they are used as a filters for sterili sterilization of the air entering into the fermenter. Now, also this holes you could see here in the diagram that holes. They are the small holes, very small holes, which is about five to ten millimeter in size. And The function of these holes is that it forms tiny air bubbles and helps in mixing of media. Now, let's see the next part of the fermenter that is the sampling point. अभी sampling point क्यों use करते हैं? To withdraw the samples. So at particular time like time to time withdrawal is important for monitoring the fermentation process or to monitor the quality of the product so the sampling point plays a major role over here it provides a septic withdrawal of the now the next part is ph control device the seventh major part pH control device में क्या करता है? It checks the pH and also adjusts the pH, okay, to the optimum level. Now how it is adjusted? By addition of acids or alkalis. Also the optimum pH is important for the growth of microorganisms to the desired product. So the optimum pH is around neutral, that is pH seven, is basically for all the microorganisms to grow. Now let's see the eighth major part that is a temperature control device. A temperature control device में क्या होता है? It contains thermometer or cooling jackets रहता है, which is around the fermenter. And if the temperature rises up, then it can be controlled by adding the cooling water around the jacket. So let's see the ninth major part that is a foam control device. Foam control device. Okay, it uses what some anti-foaming agent. So generally during the mixing or during the fermentation process, foam ज़्यादा generate होने की chances रहता है fermenter के अंदर. So that foam generated it may spill out from the um, fermenter. Like what spills out, the media spills out, and also it may lead to the contamination. To so to avoid all these things, okay, like contamination, like spilling out of media. Uh, 
here an anti foam anti foaming agent is used now the 10th part of the fermenter is that bottom drainage system the bottom drainage system is to remove out the outlet aseptically at the bottom of the fermenter so the main function is that removal of the fermented media and the products which are formed so this was a first part of the industrial microbiology that we started with the design of the fermenter okay we will be studying the further topics on the types of fermenter the coming videos thank you for watching